what is the worst that can happen? Legitimately ask yourself this question. What's the worst that can happen in a game? I remember when I used to get super stressed out before games, it would consume me and it was because I thought all of these bad things were gonna happen at once. I was replaying bad things that happened before in games over and over to try and prepare myself for this game so I wouldn't feel as bad when I make a mistake. You're gonna lose the ball. Eventually, you're gonna lose the ball. What are you gonna do after that? What's your reaction to that? And it's kind of ironic because when you answer this question, the worst that can happen in a game is that you let these negative thoughts consume you. And that's literally what is like, that, that's something that you can control. And ironically, the worst thing that can happen is negative thoughts consuming you because that is literally probably the only thing you can control is your mind and your actions, but you are gonna misplace passes. You are gonna have a bad first touch every now and then. And what I mean by this is back then when I used to get the most anxious before games, I thought this whole game was binary. I thought I had to either care or not care in order to control these feelings and these emotions that I get, this anxiety that I get before games and even during games. But the thing is, you have to find the balance. You can't care too much to the point where you're caring too much about all these mistakes that it consumes you, but you can't not care because then you're just gonna blow off every mistake and it's gonna happen over and over and over. And that's not what you wanna happen. You have to find the common ground. You have to care enough to keep high standards for yourself, but also not care about things that you can't control, like people yelling at you and having a bad first touch every now and then because it's gonna happen. But it's your reaction, the way you bounce back, that's what matters most. And honestly, guys, you're supposed to feel nervous before games. That's just shows that you care like don't feel bad about having anxiety before a game because it, it genuinely just shows that you care but it's about controlling this anxiety and and the more you go through anything in life the easier it becomes to control so the more games you have the more stressful situations you're put under over time the more you learn from all these situations the better you're going to be able to control yourself and by the way i can cover this topic in a future video if you guys want me to do that leave a comment and let me know and also if you've made it this far in the video please like and subscribe if you haven't already that would mean the world to me but it's not about suppressing this anxiety or this nervousness it's just about controlling it because it shows that you care and that's a good thing and i seriously wish i could sit here and give you guys all the hacks and the secrets to not being anxious before a game or during a game but the secret is that there's no secret there's no simple hack there's no quick fix just like the majority of things in life it's just about persistence and consistently going through these motions with intentional thought and always trying to learn lessons from these anxious these nervous moments because ultimately that's what's going to help you become a better player key takeaways from this it's not the end of the world if you make a mistake find the balance between caring and not caring you're supposed to feel nervous it's just about how you control it and there's no secret grind it out and your future self will thank you for it i'll see you guys in a bit